Hey guys, so it is rumbling in Iceland. There is something going on. Remember my video that I've released a few days ago where the scientists say they are concerned about the number of earthquakes that we're seeing in Iceland as a whole? And you know, Iceland lies on the North Atlantic Ridge where two tectonic plates are separating from each other. So not moving towards each other, they're separating. And it basically goes right through Iceland as you can see here on that map. And that by tearing apart opens up space for magma to come to the surface and it's rumbling a lot along that north atlantic ridge but also elsewhere in iceland but i want to talk about you about an earthquake swarm we're right in the middle of it it's happening right now and it has significantly sized quakes and guys don't expect like a seven or eight or six quake if we are talking about like volcanic quakes it's not that high so anything that's above two is already significant so let's talk about this along the north atlantic ridge just today in the last one and a half days 48 hours so to speak we had 266 quakes and what is a little bit concerning or very concerning we will have to see is the number of quakes above magnitude 2 so listen to this we had three quakes that were above magnitude 3 3.5 was the highest then we have um, quakes between the size of 2 and 3 24 and size 1 to 2 62 so 177 in total but what is interesting is like three quakes above magnitude three in the same area so at a depth of 1.1 kilometer we had a 3.0 at alde that's basically a rock in the sea but it's at basically located coastal areas of the Reykjanes Peninsula. So the same area that goes right through Grendavik. And 10 kilometers depth, a 3.2. 10 kilometers depth, a 3.5. So all around that rock area. And I'll show you the rock here. It's really not much. And we'll talk about what's going on with that rock because it's a very interesting rock. It's just not a rock. It has a history. So listen to this. So this thing is basically called LD Island and it's a 77 meter high sheer rock island and it's about 15 kilometers southwest of the Reykjanes Peninsula, basically off the coast of Grindavik. The rock is called Hylakiastite and it has an area, it's very, very small, of around 0. 0.03 square kilometers. And this LD rock is a part of a cluster of rocks and scaries that are extending about 85 kilometers out to sea. And it's called Fuglaska or bird scaries. And what is this? And that's why I'm saying this thing is interesting. So Aldi is by far the biggest gannet colony in Iceland. This is a bird species and there's around 30,000 pairs of gannets that are breeding in Iceland. And of those around half of it, 16,000 breed in Aldi. And that's quite amazing, right? So it's one of the biggest gannet colonies in the Atlantic. That's what LD is. So this is quite significant, especially if you're a bird lover. But even if you're not, what's so special about that rock? Why are these birds there? So they're nesting in mounds that are made of seaweed and dry grass and they glue this together. Also, sometimes they're using parts of fishing nets and fishing strings in their nests. So the fishermen of Grindavik will probably not like that. But it's harmful for their babies if they get entangled in these strings. So it's not ideal. These birds, they lay one egg in April and the incubation time is about 44 days. And then the young birds spend around 90 days in the nest. So they spend quite a bit of time on that rock there. I wonder what they're saying that it's rumbling that much there. So LD, the rock, has been conquered in the past several times by climbers and like people that really were quite brave. And they went there to collect eggs from the birds to eat them. And here comes the interesting part. 
So in historic times, the geologists are estimating that in this area around that rock, that there were about 10 eruptions. The best documented eruption happened in 1783. So where is this coming from? The scientists have noticed this powerful earthquake swarm as well because it's just right off the Ricanus Peninsula that we're monitoring closely because we're waiting for the next event there because there is an ongoing eruption that has been going on since March 16th and at the same time the magma chamber where this eruption usually originated from is filling up again so building up new pressure. So every Everyone's waiting for either the existing eruption to get stronger very fast if there is a next event happening or maybe an eruption in another area happening but certainly there is over 10 million cubic meters in that magma chamber and it usually sends something on its way in an intrusion or eruption if it has a fill amount of between like 8 to 13 million cubic meters so Anything can happen without notice any time. So this rather powerful earthquake swarm began today, Icelandic time at nine o'clock in the evening. So that was a really like cluster series of earthquakes, as I just said, with three earthquakes over the magnitude of three, 3.5. So the experts at the Icelandic Met Office, a natural disaster experts, is saying that it's not out of the question that the land rise in Sorsengi has an effect on this tension release that is happening right there. So something is happening because of the tension that is building up underneath Swartzengi. So will we see an eruption at Aldi again? or maybe in any other place. We had a watch my video about this. The scientists of the Met Office and Thorwald or Thorwaldsen, um, they disagreed about what could happen now since the magma chamber is full again. So Thorwald or Thorwaldsen, he works for the University of Iceland. He says, well, he thinks that we will just see the current eruption increasing in strength through the next event. But the experts at the Icelandic Met Office say it is possible that we will see an eruption somewhere else. So is this now related? Is this showing signs that there might be something somewhere else? Who knows? The scientists say so often they know that they don't know. It's just a guessing game. We still have to wait and see, but it looks like something's going to happen very soon. The activity in the current crater seems not to have died down as some were speculating. It still seems to be the same as it has been recently. And we have to note that in the area where we see that earthquake swarm right now, um, February 12th to 18th, there was a series of earthquakes that has hit the same area. And there were about a hundred earthquakes that were recorded at that time. And the la largest of them was also 3.5. So is this occurring on a regular basis? Does it mean anything? Guys, I will keep you updated about this. This is very interesting and the tension is building up. Something is going to happen soon. I know it and I can feel it and the experts think so too. So stay tuned. If you're new here, please subscribe to this channel so that you will be notified when something is happening. And for my regular viewers, I appreciate you so much. Thanks so much for the supers that you kept sending me yesterday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for the coffees. I really, really need them <laughs> that you're buying me on my buymeacoffee.com site. Um, if you want to buy me a coffee, the link is in the description. <laughs> Intent. Thank you so much, guys. I hope to see you very, very soon with the next update. It's rumbling all over the world. Check out my channel. There was one video. It's here in the end screen. That is very interesting. So hikers were hiking up on a volcano and that volcano was shooting up ashes in the air and then a lightning was hitting the ashes right into the volcano so that lightning was not caused by the volcano like we have seen in the Rung volcano which is also very impressive check out the video about that no this was like that's why I said are the gods angry is Zeus throwing a lightning into the volcano and there's a video about this so check out the video it's very very impressive guys I see you very very soon bye bye Bye.